was certainly there's aspects of celebrity that, that I understand. I don't think it's the main point of the story. It's but it is one of the byproducts. And and I mean, I certainly understand being hunted to some degree and having a bounty on my head. But fortunately, no one's pointing guns at me. So, but there's also um, you, you know the. The Jesse James character is certainly caught in his own celebrity. He's certainly um, weary of living an alias, and, and he's really lost himself in this perpetuation of this this uh, this outlaw life. And um, there's another interesting aspect, I think, of, of celebrity here, and that's with, with uh, Casey's character, Robert Ford, in the sense uh, that uh, that's applicable to today, in the sense that um, this want for fame and with uh, this blind want for fame without any real understanding of consequence what you're really asking for it. But the, the idea of it that through fame you, you receive some kind of personal validity. Um, so I, I, I think those are not the main themes, but certainly themes that are, are at play. Yeah, uh, for me, the choice or decision to to take on a film is is certainly not calculated as far as doing something successful and something that may have a smaller audience. I, it's all a crapshoot to me, and I, I really don't bet on the horses. I just I just go with the story that that, um, that speaks to me that I feel strongly about, which was this, and more importantly, the, the people that's surrounding it or I'm surrounded by, and that was certainly Andrew and and then Casey and the rest of the cast, and. Um, um, as far as uh, this having a bigger audience, you know, I don't, I don't even think that way. I, I mean, I come from the belief that all good films find their time at this time and place, whether it's opening weekend or it's sometime later. And it's certainly been true with some of my favorite films that that re that might relate to this film in in Cadence, which is Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, or McCabe and Mrs. Miller, or Days of Heaven. I found. 10 to 20 years maybe after they were made. So, you know, this is, uh, my main concern is quality. And, uh, and, and I, I think there's quality in all categories of filmmaking. And that's, that's it for me, that's, that's, I keep it very simple. Um, funny enough, I get more done now, because there's no excuses, I know I don't, I don't Family comes first, and I know I only got this window of time to get the work done, and I actually actually get more done because of it. Um, that's all I got for you. Okay. <laughs> it is a good question. I mean, it's a good observation that this was more of a that a disassembly of the myth. Um, certainly, uh, you know, he was known as a, a kind of a Robin Hood character, and and also it was known that, that his exploits were somewhat dubious and that he perpetuated this myth. But um, our film takes place, you know, starts at the end of all that, the end of his celebrity, really, and the last year of his life when he and Robert Ford come into collision and collusion. So, uh, but, it, but it is a fair observation. Um, I got into it to be a part of stories that I wouldn't necessarily be right as an actor. I got into it because of uh, seeing how films can go off the rail and thinking that I had something to offer there. Um, our, our, our simple edict has just been great storytellers and great stories. And that's been our focus and, and um, it, it's proven to be rewarding for us. Plan B was, um, I mean, there's no, it was really lack of a better term. I'm not crazy about it myself. I was, I had another partner at that time whose name was Brad as well. And for lack of, um, it, it, it was an uncreate, uninspired, uncreative day. <laughs>